Hello, everyone. I'm Lulu, the RC chick, and today I am so, so, so very excited to be taking a look at this awesome 770S Scania tractor truck. It is an 8x8 in 114 scale, and oh my gosh, does this have so many amazing things that are new to even me on it. So how about we just jump into it and I'll show you how much I love this truck. All right, everyone, so first things first, we're going to take a look at all the exterior details that are on this truck. So from the top over here, you're going to see that we do have this nice little part that we added here. So this is a decorative AC part, as well as two air horns, which are much closer to each other than the normal trucks you'd normally get. And of course, this part having the spotlights on the top with an antenna over here on this side. And we do have two antennas on this one, so this first one and the second one on the side. We do have our rotating warning lights on the sides as well instead of on the top because you can see we've used up a lot, a lot of space on the top here. Now coming down over here, you do have another extra light that we've added. We wanted to use most of the space as well as the lights on top over here, overhead lights. And you do have your sun visor. It also does have lights right over there. And of course, you've got a mirror and some side mirrors on the side that are adjustable. And then coming down to your windshield, over here you can see on the inside we do have a little man over here. I think it's supposed to be the Michelin star man, which is really cool. You'll see what he can do later. And of course you've got our logo over here which also lights up. More lights on the bottom. Of course you do have your windshield wipers, but these are not mobile ones. And now coming down. Now coming down over here, of course we do have our front full metal bumper that you can actually remove just like that. You can't disconnect the whole thing. You don't want to do that because it does have lights in it over here as well. So once you open it in the front grill, you can see we do have plenty of lights already installed as well in there, which is a really cool addition. You can just put this right back. And now over here on the side, of course, this is going to be a plastic cabin. This is an MD model cabin, but everything else, of course, starting from here is going to be full metal from a scale C chassis, of course. And you do have your openable doors that lead you to inside the cabin and just check out the amount of detail that we have in here. It's absolutely amazing. Look at all that. It looks absolutely beautiful inside and out. Now coming down over here on the tires, you can see the wheel hub over here has been painted red and of course it's embedded with a Scania logo in there which is really cool. These are going to be scale C tires as well. They're pretty firm actually or I'm just weak but these are pretty good tires as well. Coming over to the side, you do have a step over here and that's going to be all metal and over here you're going to find inside some electronics. You can actually open it up and under that's going to be your power off and on switch. Now over here we do have your wind guards in the back and of course you can have them removed so easily just lift it up and right here we do have an LED strip light installed and you're gonna see how it looks just after we turn it on. So over here we do have your full metal equipment rack, you've got some tires, some tanks on the top over here, all full metal. You do have some storage spaces and some more tanks, but this is not going to be for the battery compartment because that's going to be located on top over here in the cabin. And now on the back over here, you do have this metal plate here, but here's something super cool about it. All you have to do is pull this up, get it loose, and then pull this out, and you have a full-on functional ladder. Look at these details. They're so amazing on this truck. I absolutely love this tiny feature that I feel like you need to own this to just know how good it feels to just do one simple thing, but it's just so nice. Now coming over to the full metal equipment rack over here, you do have these boxes on each side. So all these can be opened and they do have a locking mechanism, which is actually crazy. So you just have to pull this out of its place, turn it, and then pull it open. And you do have a lot of storage space on the inside and to lock it, you still have to do the same thing because if you leave it like this, it just opens up. But once you lock it, put this back, See, now you can't open it. So that is just another cool addition. And now over here, of course, you do have a tank here, full metal, over here as well. 
another tank in the center and another tank over here so all of these are all decorative parts that are full metal and of course you do have this metal plate over here that houses the ladder as I showed you before. And of course, you're gonna have a full metal chassis from Scale C over here. So we did not get this one painted because it just looks so good in its original color. And of course, your fifth wheel that is also full metal. And of course, adjustable. You can move it around to whatever you need. Center is always the best. And of course, you do have your full metal fenders on each side, also customized with black stripes and also fully blue as well. Now in the back over here, you're going to have your rubber tire stoppers. And of course they work perfectly well. If you want metal ones, we can also switch them back. Now coming up to the other side of the truck, over here there is a bit of a difference which is going to house your smoke unit because we do have smoke function on this one. So all you have to do is pull it out. And over here you do have your motor for the smoke as well as the smoke is going to be in there. Now, of course, if you're wondering where are all the electronics on this truck, so they are going to be under your cabin as usual. So first you do have to remove the bumper and then just pull this up. It doesn't open all the way, so this is as much space as you are going to get on it. So you can see all the parts that are in here. We do have our channel receiver over here as well as on the ESC. It's under there. We're using a quick run ESC for this one. And now on the top over here, that's going to be your battery compartment. All you have to do is lift the top off, super simple. And over here, you can see we do have some electrical contacts over here. They should match up to this for all the lights that are on the top of the roof cap to work. So here, we're going to be using this awesome battery that I have held together by Velcro. So we're using a 5,200 milliamp LiPo battery and it is an X260 connector. So here's something that's really cool. The connector is actually embedded into this metal plate that we have installed on the top. So makes it just super easy. All right, now let's turn on this awesome tractor truck. So over here, we're using this SD8 controller, but here's one thing I need you guys to know. If you need to work this tractor truck with another trailer, you should tell me in advance because we would not want to use this SD8, maybe upgrade to a controller that can have two receivers for the tractor and for your trailer. So right now, since we don't have a trailer, I'll just use this SD8 that it originally comes with. Make sure all the switches are in the right position and let's turn it on, just like you said, under here. Whoa, look at that. So here's something special. This does have a cabin suspension on it. One of the best suspensions I've seen, so it looks so cool when you drive it. Now let's get to running this track. Now of course, first and foremost, the most important thing is all the lights that have been installed on this truck. So you're going to have seven different switches for it. So the first one is going to be one in the back, another one in the back over here, the ones on the sides here and here, and then another one here, another one here, and finally this one. So all in total, you're gonna have seven different switches for different lights. So I'm going to start with the first one in the back here and let's see what that does. So that's going to be the lights over here for that button. And of course, you're going to be able to switch between the modes. Oh my God, it's so cool. Wow. I cannot even tell you how many different modes come with this awesome truck because I can just keep pressing. So let's leave those on. And now the second one over here on the side, that's going to be your spotlights on the top here. Different modes as well as in the visor. You could probably go on forever. They all look so cool, but let's just leave them on. All right, now second or third, in fact, let's go to this switch on the side. So how to use this switch is simple. You gotta push fast. <gasps> You're gonna see that. That is right there in the back. This have to be one of the coolest, coolest ever lights I've ever seen on a track. So here we do have some lights underneath that are quite hard to see unless you look very closely. So we do have them here. And of course the lights up here. 
like I said, the strip lights, and of course, different modes. You can switch between so many modes on this. I could not even begin to tell you how many modes there are on this one. So let's leave those on for now. All right, now let's go to the fourth one that is right over here on this side. Turn it on. Oh my God, check that out. So that's going to be the lights right under your front tires over here and also these headlights over here on the bumper and of course the Michelin star man on the inside and in there you're going to see the Scania logo inside as well light up and of course there's going to be different modes for everything which looks so cool. So all the lights that have been installed on this one are gonna start from having three modes to maybe nine different modes that you can switch upon. And of course, now we have plenty of lights on, but of course it's not gonna end there. We still have this one over here. So that's going to turn on this light and some lights down here as well. Your headlights, of course. Finally, we are at the normal lights that come with every truck. So that's going to be your headlights. And here's another part for the switch in the back. When you flip the switch and just let it be, you're going to have your warning lights over here in the back. And then finally, let's try this one out. So this is going to be your rotating warning lights. The first flick is going to turn the one on the right side on. Second, the one on the left side. And finally, both of them at the same time. And then finally, your joystick over here is going to control the lights in the logo over here on the front. So you can also switch in between some modes. Maybe you'll get around two to three different modes on this one. All right, now that we have all these amazing, gorgeous lights turned on on this blue beauty, let's listen to the sound system. Whoa. That is one heck of a sound system. Just listen to how beautiful that is. And of course, you've got our beep. Yeah, definitely gives you the feel that a huge truck is coming your way. And of course, there is a smoke unit installed, so that works with the sound system. So once the sound system is on, the smoke starts burning. And then, of course, when you start moving, you're going to get a front suspension as well. Let's try that again. Look at that bounce. Wow. All right, now let me show you the smoke. It comes from under the truck. So over here in the back, you do have your smoke. Operating this truck is absolutely amazing. Whoa. And of course you can tell we do have two steering axles over here, this one and that one. you can actually control the volume that you want so all you have to do is push this one halfway and then it goes up and then push it halfway upwards the sound starts going low and then you have a low volume until you have nothing you want to turn back the volume up so you gotta push it backwards and it's right back And there you go. So for this tractor truck, you're going to get three speed transmission, low, medium, and high speed. So right now we're on low speed. Let's try that out. So this is low speed. 
Then move on to medium speed. So that's your medium speed. And then of course, high speed. And of course, we do have a differential lock on all the axles on this one. So right now the differential lock is obviously not working. It's not locked. So once we lock it, have to be really careful I don't like doing this there we go all the tires are moving at the same speed whoa and of course you have an amazing suspension right there in the front all right everyone now that was our new 114 scale 8 by 8 truck to truck the Scania 770s cabin with a full metal chassis from Scalsi and the MD cabin of course what do you guys think of this one and what would you like to get it done do you want it just like this in all blue because we can get whatever you want customized to fit your needs so tell me what you think about what we've done with the lights on this one and I'll be happy to hear from you please please reach out if you'd love to get this this truck or get anything similar I got you and I will do my best to customize everything for you so I'll see you guys in the next video bye